Hi friends and welcome to Otec. Today, in just 10 minutes, we'll be exploring the integration of a payment gateway with Paystack using React.js. This tutorial aims to provide developers and business owners with a comprehensive guide on implementing secure and efficient payment solution. So if you're looking to elevate your web development skills or optimize your online payment process, you're in the right place. Also feel free to adjust it as needed to align with your tones or style. All right, let's dive in. Okay, so here I have some basic things set up. I have installed Tailwind and yeah, that's it. So if you don't know how to install Tailwind, there's a link in the description on how to do that. So to integrate the payment gateway with Paystack, you need to have an account with them. Um, a link to Paystack will also be in the description. All right. So the first thing I want to do here now is create a state for my form. So I'm going to be important use it here. And here I'm going to say const. First, I'll be having the email set email. And next, I'll have the name. The next, I'll have the amount you want to send. Then, lastly. I want to have a state for your phone number. Now, the next thing I want to do now is um, create my style components so I can have something like this. So, first for my input, I want to be using this styling. So, here I want to give this a block position width of 100%, padding left and right of 4, padding bottom and top of 2, margin bottom of 4, and a rounded of the border, mm, and a border color of gray. I want to give this a focus outline of none. Okay, so that's these are the stylings I want for my input. The next for my button, I want to give this also a block position, then a bit of 100% as well. Adding left and right of four, adding top and bottom of um, let's say two, and the background color of. Um, so I think this should be a color kind of sky blue. So I want to set the text color to white. And so lastly, I want to give this a border reduce. That are the stylings I need for my um, input and buttons. First, I want to create a div here, right? Then um, I'll style that div to have some. Here I can now render my input, right? Right, I'm going to give this a type of um, text, right? Then a value to be, value should be named and um, the placeholder. And um, lastly, class name should be style dot input, right? Then I'll change events. I can set the E. Then here I can just do set. Set name to be E dot target dot value. Then next I can just duplicate this three times. Then I'll change some things. Okay, first I want to change this to the email, All right? Then I'll change the type to email as well. I'll change the placeholder to email. 
And lastly, I'll change the sets phone number. Okay. And finally, I'll have my button. Okay, so let's preview this and see how it looks now. When I refresh the page, okay, this is looking very nice. Well, the next thing I want to do now is install the React Paystack library. So to do that, I'm just going to type um, npmi react-paystack to install the library. Okay, so now it's done installing. We need to um, make some changes. Okay, so first we must have our public key. So to get your public key, you simply go to your dashboard and navigate to settings tab and to API web hooks here. Then you scroll down to the text mode for now. And you can just copy this public key. And now here we can create a variable called public key is equal to. So I'm gonna paste what I just copied. Then next, I'm going to I'm going to import um, this tag button from React Base Tag. Now the next one do here now is create a component props. So that component props is going to contain some details which I'm going to be sending to the, um, the API for Base Tag. That's going to be processing the payments. So here I can have the component props to be on this so first i want to pass in the email right then next i'm passing the amount so here i'll create a, another key called meta data then inside this metadata i can pass the name and the phone number right here i can pass the public key to mm, this component props um, is going to be appended to the paste tag button so I also need to give it a text so I can just change this to donate and next um, I'll be having two functions on success and on close function so um, this function kind of handles what you want to see when the, the uh, payments is successful. And so for the unsuccess function, I want to alert a message, a simple message that just says, um, thank you for the meeting, right? Then um, another function I want to have is um, the on close function. So for example, when you mistakenly close the payment processor, the message should show. So I can just alert and say, um, are you sure you want to close? And the next thing we want to do now is use this paste tag button in our code. So I'm gonna replace this button to paste tag button. So I'll get rid of this and um, get rid of this and here I can just yeah right and I don't need this type of button okay then lastly I think I need to just pass this component props to this paste tag button so that's all we need for our payment gateway so let's see if this works fine so then I Put in my phone name. So when I fill in these details and I click on donate, okay, loads the payment processor and boom, we have it. So because we are using the, the test mode, we are seeing this. So if I click on success and I pay, yeah, our payment. So let's say I decide to use the live public key, all right, and I change this to live public key okay then i refresh my page now when i click on donate i see payment gateway now 
now you can see now it's changed now to a real payment processor because you're using the live public key okay but there's a little problem here you can see this is saying five naira instead of 500 so we need to um, actually times this by 100 so here i can just say amount times 100 and now when i click on units yeah okay, so that is it for this video if you find it helpful please do well to like share subscribe and comment thank you